Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about Archimedean property. So let's take a look at the statement. Uh, we are going to deal with Archimedean property of real numbers. It's saying that if x and y are two real numbers, where x and y are both positive, then there exists a natural number n such that n into y is greater than x. Okay. Now what is the essence of this proof? It's trying to tell that However small a real number y you choose, let's say y is 0 0.000001, okay. However small a real number you choose, provided it has to be positive, and however large a real number you choose, let's say 10 to the power 1, 0, 0, 0, and so on, okay. However small a real number you choose, let's say y, and however large a real number you choose, let's say x, then y multiplied with some natural number n will still become greater than x. Okay, so your x is like really large and your y is really very very small. Still there will exist a natural number n which when multiplied with that very small number will make it even bigger than the number which is already very big. Okay, so that's the essence of this proof. All right. So let's start with the proof. We are going to do it by way of contradiction. Okay, so let me assume that let, if possible, there does not exist, okay, there does not exist any natural number n such that n y will be greater than x. So I am assuming at first that this kind of thing is not possible. Okay, so there does not exist any natural number such that this thing is going to happen. So if this thing is not happening, then what does that mean? That means n into y is less or equals to x provided whatever natural number I choose. Okay, so whatever natural number I'm choosing, n into y is always less than or equal to x. Okay, so this is going to happen for all n belongs to natural numbers. Okay. So first of all, I'm assuming that this kind of a thing is happening. So if you look at this thing in a pictorial kind of format, what I have said over here is that there is a real number x such that x is greater than all the n into y kind of numbers where n is a natural number and y is a some kind of a real number, something positive. So that means if I take n to be 1, so 1 into y is somewhere over here less than x. 2 into y is still less than x, 3 into y is still less than x. So all these numbers will be less or equal to x. That means on the left hand side of x. So if I take a set of all these numbers, okay, let me call this set to be S, which contains the numbers 1 into y, 2 into y, 3 into y, and so on. You can see all these numbers are eventually less than or maybe equal to x. So that means this x is an upper bound of this capital S set okay so let me construct the set that let S be the set of n y such that n belongs to natural numbers okay so you can see it in the diagram that X is behaving like an upper bound of the set S okay now first of all whenever you construct a set you should always show it is non-empty now that's very trivial over here if I take that let n equals to 1. So if I take n1 over here, so this would imply that 1 into y, which is y, belongs to the set S. So I can very easily see that the number y belongs to this set if I take n to be 1. So obviously the set S is non-empty. So therefore S is non-empty. So whenever you construct a set, always make sure that it is non-empty. So we have constructed a set and we have shown that it is non-empty and you can see it over here obviously from this very statement you can see that x is a upper bound of this set s okay so since ny is less or equals to x for all n belongs to natural numbers this implies x is an upper bound of s now we can use the supremum property of r here whenever we have a non-empty set which is bounded above that implies that the supremum of the set will exist right 
this comes from the supremum property so using supremum property by supremum property of real numbers supremum of the set s will always exist using supremum property so let me call this element to be that let the supremum s let me name that element to be let's say small b okay so b is some real number which is the supremum of this set that i have constructed so you can imagine just for a better understanding okay just for a better understanding supremum means it is the least of all the upper bounds right x is one of the upper bound so this small b is the least among all the upper bounds of the set s so maybe just maybe the set b the, sorry the element b might be somewhere over there okay because it is the least of all the upper bounds so maybe it's even lesser than x or might be it is equal to x so we are not concerned about that so might be the element b is somewhere over here okay now just uh, you can observe this that b minus y okay where you can see obviously b is something positive because it's greater than these kind of elements where y is positive that's told in the statement already so these are all positive so if b is greater than all these things then obviously b is something positive so b is positive y is positive so b minus y i can obviously say that it's uh, sorry it's lesser than b right b will be greater than b minus y because y is something positive if i am subtracting something positive from a number so that number becomes smaller than the original number right so from here what i can say is that b minus y as you can see it's lesser than b so b minus y maybe it's somewhere over here okay in the figure it's somewhere over here now since b was the supremum b was the least of all the upper bounds and b minus y is an element which is lesser than the supremum that means b minus y this is not an upper bound of the set s anymore okay because b was the least of all the upper bounds so if i subtract some positive quantity from b it becomes even lesser than the supremum so obviously b minus y can no longer be an upper bound of the set s so it has to be somewhere inside the set okay somewhere below b okay so this implies b minus y is not an upper bound of the set s okay so if b minus y is not an upper bound now see from this figure what i can say that if b minus y is not an upper bound that means there will exist some natural number there will exist some natural number let's say k such that k into y okay k into y which means some element of the set s will be greater than b minus y but obviously it will be lesser than the supremum right because b minus y is not an upper bound so there must exist some element of the set s which will be greater than b minus y as you can see over here but it obviously it has to be lesser than or maybe equal to the supremum so what i can say is there exists some k belongs to natural number such that b minus y will be less than some that element k into y and that k into y will be always less or equal to the supremum as per the property of supremum so we will have this kind of a statement so there exists some element of the set uh, s which looks like k into y such that it will be greater than b minus y but obviously lesser than or equal to the supremum of that set right now i am concerned with this part okay so if i take this part and if i take the k on that side so i have b less than ky plus y so this means if i can take the y common out here so y into k plus 1 or maybe i'll just write k plus 1 whole into y is greater than b right i've got this kind of a thing now see i have created a problem for myself what is the problem k plus 1 now what was k k was a natural number right so if k is a natural number then obviously k plus 1 is also a natural number obvious reasons so k plus 1 is a natural number so a natural number into y 
how what is this kind of an element any natural number into y that's the element of s right i had created my set s in such a way that it contained the elements some natural number into y right so k plus 1 is a natural number that multiplied with y so this thing becomes an element of the set s and i can see an element of the set s is even bigger than the supremum which is b right so how is that possible how can element of a set be become that be greater than the supremum that's not possible right because every element of a set has to be lesser than the supremum or maybe equal to the supremum but never greater than the supremum right so we have reached a contradiction so i will say that since k plus 1 belongs to natural number this implies k plus 1 into y belongs to the set s itself as per the construction of s and since k plus 1 into y is greater than b is is not or i can say therefore this thing is not possible since b is the supremum of the set so an element of the set cannot be greater than the supremum so that is not possible so that means i have reached a contradiction so this is a contradiction right and why did i arrive at this contradiction because right at the beginning i had assumed that let if possible let if possible ny greater than x this was not happening okay i had assumed that this was not happening so i assumed something wrong that's why i arrived at the contradiction so that means this thing must be happening only then i can avoid this contradiction right so hence the statement of the archimedean property is proved so here i can see that therefore there always exists a natural number n belong n such that n into y will be greater than x okay so and that's the proof of archimedean property of real numbers okay thank you everyone for watching have a great day